Now we're out in the garage of Vivid Racing where one of our technicians is going to install the Exidy Hyper Twin Plate Clutch. He's already removed some parts from the engine, but we're going to catch up with him in the critical point so you don't cause any damage to your car and, of course, your Exidy Racing Clutch. So let's catch up with him and check out how to install your Exidy Clutch. Remember, do not try this install in your driveway. You need the right tools for the right job. Otherwise, you could cause damage to your vehicle or the parts. All right, now we're going to show you a common problem with the Mitsubishi Evo. I mean, there's even literature within the box which you need to pay attention to. But right now I'm going to show you, and I have somebody here, Evan Klein, who's technical director from Exidy. He's going to show you how to basically not damage your bearing and your cage within the cover assembly. Evan, if you want to break it down here and show them how easy it is. I mean, people fight with us all the time. Yeah, this is a very common problem that we see at Exidy, and it's a very simple procedure to do. Uh, basically of the wave spring which holds the bearing clip up into the the diaphragm fingers and it's very simple you you want to take the fork and, and you'll press that down so you compress the wave springs and then you get your screwdriver and you go in between the bearing cage and the release bearing and you need a simple twist and it'll pop right out I mean you can see how simple that is and that's just going to basically save your investment of your exit racing clutch as well as your cover assembly and that's both for removal and installation. Don't fight it, just be nice and gentle with it as you can see. And remember, the literature is included in your Exidy Racing Clutch box. And be sure to stay tuned for proper installation and removal on your Exidy Racing Clutch. And for more information, of course, you can always go to ExidyUSA.com. Now to remove the throw up bearing, go ahead and pull the clutch fork back, compressing the wave springs. Insert your flat screwdriver, give it a twist, and it will be removed. If the throw bearing it does not come off, go ahead and rotate the crank 180 degrees and repeat the step. The position of the fork will let you know that the throw up bearing has been released from the pressure plate. With the transmission removed, be sure to clean the bell housing and the back of the block. Also, be sure to check for input shaft seal leaks and rear main seal leaks. Once the bell housing is clean, make sure that the input shaft has no debris and the clutch disc slides freely. To properly install the dowel pins in the flywheel, use a hydraulic press and 50% of the dowel pin will be in the flywheel. That way you'll know it's properly installed. When lubricating the input shaft, a little goes a long way. Do not over lubricate. Go ahead and remove the excess lubricant. Be sure to use red Loctite on the flywheel bolts and the pressure plate bolts. Now the tech is installing the one piece forged chromoly steel flywheel and the red Loctite outfitted bolts. Fasten down in a star pattern. When installing both clutch discs and the intermediate plate, be sure that you can read the Exidy logo on the clutch disc, as well as line up the blue marks on both the intermediate plate and the flywheel. Once aligned both the blue marks and reading the Exidy logo, go ahead and put on your top plate. Remember, red Loctite is your friend. When installing the cover assembly, be sure the blue marks line up properly. Once you finger tighten the bolts on the clutch assembly, go ahead and rotate the clutch alignment tool, aligning all the splines. When torquing down the pressure plate, use the torque specs of 23 foot pounds of pressure, again, utilizing that star pattern. Once you install the throw out bearing, make sure it moves freely on the quill shaft. When aligning the transmission and the engine, make sure that nothing comes in contact and damaging the bearing cage. Once the transmission is installed, go ahead and push on the fork to ensure that there's no damage to the cage, ensuring a proper install of the throw out bearing. All right, you've now installed your Exidy Hyper Twin Plate Clutch. Few things you need to pay attention to. First of all is your clutch pedal. Does it engage one to two inches from the floor? If it doesn't, make those just adjustments accordingly. Second one, 500 miles. 500 miles of break-in time. That's keeping it under 4,500 4, RPMs. Drive it like grandma would. And last but definitely not least is you might be hearing some weird noises coming from underneath your hood. That is normal. Don't be worried. That comes with your Hyper Twin Plate Clutch. When you got all those three things in mind, go ahead, Break it in, do those adjustments, and then you can grip and rip it. Clutch Kick Performance by Exidy Clutch.